As the fog lifted, the extent of the pileup was revealed. Car after car, vans, lorries and car transporters crumpled and crushed. A hundred vehicles strewn along nearly a quarter of a mile of the new Sheppey Crossing Bridge. Those who'd found themselves caught up in the crash described the chaotic scenes they faced. Somebody hit me really hard on the back, so I tried to stop again, pulled my handbrakes, and then I heard the next knock again. And then the next one came at the side, it was a white van, pushed me towards the barrier on the right. So I was squashed there in the middle, and then I just heard these bangs. There was cars messed up, there was write-offs, there was people with cuts and bruises, really bad injuries, there was screaming, you could hear, you could smell the petrol being spilled everywhere, the exhaust fumes, oil fumes, it was just complete and utter chaos. It all started this morning as commuters crossed the bridge from the Isle of Sheppey to mainland Kent. Ahead of the crash, visibility had been growing steadily worse, reaching dangerous levels by 7am. We don't yet know what caused that initial incident. We don't yet know what factors are going to come into play as to what caused the, the subsequent crashes behind, but we do know there was thick fog and that clearly will be a consideration. Around 200 people had to be treated for minor injuries. Another eight were seriously injured. Emergency services say it's miraculous that no one died. I have to say that none of us really prepare for something of this scale, but that said, all of the, all of the, the exercising that we do do um, sets us in good stead for something like this. And I think one of the successes of this incident has been the way the, uh, all of the emergency services, the highways agency, and even agencies like the Salvation Army have provided support and welfare to uh, the 200 people that have been suffering minor injuries. Driver behaviour and the weather conditions will of course be part of that police investigation. But there are those who suggest that factors around the bridge may have played a part, with no matrix warning signs or lighting warning people what they were heading into. Some eyewitnesses have claimed a lorry driver may have blocked the entrance to the bridge to stop more cars getting onto the road. More details will emerge as the investigations continue and the wreckage continues to be cleared.